stock market is the world's, and I've said this, the world's biggest casino. And you have people in suits on Wall Street who act better than the everyday trader and like, oh, you're not informed and this isn't a game and you shouldn't be involved. Shit. It's all a game. And algorithms. And, and we've entered an age where, it, it, yeah, values of companies are great. It's algorithms, controlling information, when to sell, when to buy, tips, like John Henry's algorithm. You think that had anything to do with values of company? No, it was playing a game. And Going to a different economy. And we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers in Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box. Uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. But every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every private business, every piece of real estate will eventually be a token on a blockchain, an entry on a ledger, permanent and immutable. We will have truth instead of trust, and we will save over $7 trillion a year. Six to 8% of global GDP is wasted by the friction of the trust industry that's necessary when you have dual entry accounting. With triple entry accounting, which is what a blockchain is, mm -hmm. we get rid of all of that friction. It's a beautiful future. Like what you see in China and their social credit scoring systems, right? If we get identity wrong, you know, it could be a tool to enslave humanity. And if we get it right, it could be a tool to liberate humanity as an American, you know. Uh, uh, I'm obviously rooting for the, the one that's on the side of freedom. Bitcoin is an international asset. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it, it's digitizing gold. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of a huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, well, people are investing it f for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial s seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. Chinese bank ICBC has been hit by a ransomware attack, and the U.S. Treasury market, as a result of that, um, has been disrupted. This, according to the Financial Times, we're going to get more right now with Bloomberg's Shanali Basic. Shanali, what do we know? Uh, listen, we have the Financial Times now reporting that ICBC, one of China's largest banks here, was hit with a ransomware attack. And remember, they're a, a, a very significant intermediary in the Treasury market. The SIFMA has told his members that this has been part of the reason here uh, that the system is kind of clogged up, if you will, during that auction that we saw a little bit before. The attack had prevented ICBC, according to the Financial Times, from settling treasury trades on behalf of other market participants. A large executive at a major bank also telling the paper that such a large party on the fixed income clearing corp uh, creates major concerns, potentially impacting the liquidity of treasury markets. Now it was not just the poor auction. It was absolutely lousy, and, and uh, uh, you know, when, when the dealers have to step in to save a treasury auction, uh, that's a rare occurrence. I hate when countries go off the dollar. I would not allow countries to go off the dollar, because when we lose that standard, 
that will be like uh, losing a revolutionary war. That will be that will be a hit to our country, just like losing a war. And we can't let that happen. And too many countries now are fighting to get off the dollar. Welcome to the crypto teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Remember, the New Road Order book shows you how the world really works. And it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. And 2024 is going to be one of our most entertaining years. We have the presidential election. We have the drums of beating. We have the emerging markets going to be flipping the switch on the fourth industrial revolution. Now, we had the Fed signal rate cuts, but remember, guys, they haven't cut rates yet. So we know the massive magicians are about to set up that distraction. So therefore, they can cut rates while we still have inflation. And in the fourth quarter, once the election is over, we know the movie begins. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. But guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now we have Bitcoin and crypto moving up. Remember, guys, the beginning of the month is like clockwork. Get yourself in position to take advantage. Now, guys, we had the stock market down right now. We have the Nasdaq slightly up. And we have GameStop came in. We know it was a distraction. We just didn't know exactly what the reason was. But as we see, it's because of this T plus one. We see Berkshire Hathaway being halted. So, guys, it's all about liquidity. This game is rigged. It's all fake. And hopefully everyone who is conscious, especially if you've been listening to this channel, I've been telling you, if you have the NWO book, I've been telling you, but now it's all going to be exposed because remember, we're going down to that T plus zero, that real-time settlement. But this whole system is ran by an algorithm. And we know the Fed is not going to tell you, I took your money. They're always going to set up that distraction to have you looking one way so they can run the money in the back door. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, which are down. We have the dollar, which is down. We have volume and crypto up. We have Tether and USDC. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. Repo at $439 billion. And make sure you're pulling that on a daily basis during the week. And we have Fed Jerome Powell in the house next week on Wednesday. So we know they like the markets to look decent. We know they're going to say they're data dependent. When we clearly see the data is telling us inflation is not going anywhere anytime soon. But we know these corporations control it. And these housing prices are ridiculous. But the rest of this year, guys, we're going to be on a wild ride. And remember, it's all for the fourth industrial revolution. Where the robots, algorithms, and drones take the economy over, pay each other with crypto, and the sheep go inside the metaverse. We have Trump found guilty. We have the drums are beaten in several locations. Cyber attacks, and I'm going to get into that later. We have more and more cases of the Birdman. And all these events are set up so they can run the simulation in order to get us moved over to this digital economy. And they're already setting up the next phase. I had someone send me a message to watch the movie Bionic on Netflix. I didn't watch the whole thing. I didn't have to. You can clearly see the message that they're sending 
transhumanism. And if social media can convince so many women to get fake body parts, just imagine what social media can convince the masses to become a superhero. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now we have the Bitcoin spot ETFs. We have BlackRock, Fidelity, and Grayscale all up. And then we have Australia's first spot Bitcoin ETF with direct BTC holdings goes live on Tuesday. And we know it's all perfect timing. I don't see this ETF getting a lot of attention, but we get another ETF buying Bitcoin. So, of course, that's going to help stabilize the price. Now, we have Binance announces the listing of Waves, OMG, and Neem on June 17th. Also, we have June unlocking over 100 million. To name a few of the tokens, we have Arbitrum, Aptos, Optimism, Starknet, Immutable X, and ApeCoin, and we know that date can change. Now, we have Google and Magic Leap partner up to make Metaverse goggles despite past flops. And remember, the eyes and ears are the window to the soul, so be careful what you put in them. They have eyes, but they do not see. They have ears, but they do not hear. And that's the whole point of me doing my channel and writing my book, to wake the sheep out of their sleep. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. And lastly, guys, we have the U.S. Navy launches paranoid blockchain, a security tech to private sector. And that's all we keep hearing about is cyber attacks and, of course, in the military, they already test everything before they bring it to the masses. And Paranoid is software against cyber attacks. Remember, majority of the technology, especially that DARPA has, is tested in the military and then brought to the sheep. And you know how I feel about hacks, especially if we know who's funding both sides in order to get to the agenda. And that's the reason why it's so important for you to stay in the lab so therefore you don't fall for the devil's tricks. Remember, guys, this is biblical. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Because he knows when it comes to the NWO, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books. Crypto teacher and the new world order book, plus the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance, do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks, the receiver, the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come, Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figures. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends, so therefore we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1, King Yahshua and Drama Team. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. 
It's time to re-educate Generation Z.